my name is uh, in German pronounced Stefan Seekorn. In English, it would be Bishop Stephen. I'm auxiliary bishop in the Diocese of Münster, um, who is in the north of Germany, also in Europe, uh, very far away. Um, and uh, I'm since 13 years now auxiliary bishop before. I've been a parish priest uh, in a sanctuary in our diocese and for a long time spiritual director in the seminary. Well, now I'm be very glad to be here in the Diocese of Karonga in Malawi. The first I would say is that I find it very remarkable that the first aim of a diocese in the plan from 22 to 26 is that um, you try to increase the number of Catholics who live a deep faith. And I think that's really important for that is uh, the aim of the church. That is the aim uh, we have to have for the richness of our faith is so great that it is important that a lot of people can fail. Then I find very remarkable the impact I have seen of so many beginning uh, from Bishop Martin Tumbuka with all his uh, initiatives, with his engagement, also with uh, the contact with us uh, in, in the Diocese of Münster, but uh, then all the other priests and uh, catechists, the sisters, the lay people who have in parts built their church himself um, it's really, uh, in a certain sense, incredible that uh, you have such um, intense engagement of so many people. And then you have spoken about um, the uh, gender project. I find it very interesting that you have an integrated concept, the concept uh, of the household so that women and men speak with one another and take decisions one with one another and that's really Im important and it's combined with uh, the security for students in the schools um, concerning the uh, problem of possible uh, sexual abuse but also other um, abuses as punishment or that is also interesting uh, abuses and fighting between uh, the, the students. It is really remarkable and especially remarkable for me and I take it uh, at home to Germany is that there are volunteers who go in the families and speak with the household and invite them to this program and I think that's really important. If you make only some publicities, uh, there will not be such a good reaction. But if you speak with the household, you can convince them. So I'm really fascinated. Uh, it was good to see that uh, they really um, are not only engaged, but they have a quality of engagement, a quality of knowing uh, uh, of the project that is really uh, wonderful. I uh, in, remember, for example, the students, uh, one has uh, had 11 years, uh, who in a very good English um, explained to me uh, what he uh, lives and what he has understand from the project. Um, that is really remarkable to see how they in this sense in the project. Well, I've seen a uh, faith which is uh, really uh, lift. I could um, see it during the liturgies uh, when I could experience yet really all have been with a heart um, in the liturgy. Uh, all the young, the elderly people, uh, especially I, was, I have been fascinated that also 
the young uh, really have been attentive, silent, uh, attentive to the liturgy. And uh, when I met uh, the people uh, in some outstations or some uh, prayer centers, I could see when they spoke, and we spoke um, with another, uh, that they really live from their faith. Their faith is not only, and that is naturally important, to something in the mind, but it's a living and a lived reality. And that I could uh, see that it is really uh, for a lot of people. I would say there are these uh, things. The first uh, is we have more to live um, the reality of one church. And my visit here is one small stone in uh, living this. Um, to be one church lives from uh, knowing one another. And so I have been, for example, glad that I have seen yesterday on my, my Insta account that there have been persons from Europe who have um, participated in the mass of yesterday. Um, so there's really a, a connection and they have an interest. And that is the first also for us in Germany that we have more interest uh, to be and to realize the worldwide church and to learn from another it will be a second um, for example, seeing here this living face, or I've heard of the school of faith you have. Uh, these are um, points which we in Germany uh, can learn from you and can uh, try to realize it in, in our dioceses. And I think the third is also um, that um, being one worldwide church, uh, sharing is also important in the sense of financial sharing. And I'm really glad how many um, of our Christians, of our Catholics in Germany uh, um, have in their heart that they will, with their financial possibilities, help in countries where the, their help is necessary. At the other side, I think sometimes uh, we as dioceses could do more um, in this, this help. And that's what I would say to, to my colleagues, bishops in Germany.